Hey, what's up, fam, and welcome back. Have you ever noticed that when people are arguing about something, they don't even actually take the time to hear each other? As you know, there's so much going on in our world, and it doesn't seem like that's going to slow down anytime quick. But I've been reminded of what the scriptures say, particularly the book of James, that says we ought to be slow to speak, quick to listen. In our world, it seems like more people are interested in what they have to say, that they don't even take the time to properly understand someone else's point. Now, before you say, oh, you're just a neutralist, you don't want to pick sides, the reality of the matter is no one's going to respect our positions if we don't take time to actually know our other side. Makes me think about what Christian philosopher Jacob Needleman once wrote in his book, Why Can't We Be Good? He was having a discussion with his class of philosophy students, and one of the exercises they were to do at the beginning of every semester was come up with one opposing view as one of their classmates and get in a conversation with them. Rather than just thinking you have the best point of view, it's always better to get around people and learn their points of view. Professor Needleman says that the only rule when engaging in a debate is you must properly articulate the other person's point of view before you give your response. And so as one person is making a point, it's typical that we start calculating and getting ready our response. A lot of times we're not even listening to them them anymore. And so here's my question to you. Are you slow to speak and quick to listen? If so, that means you're looking forward to hearing what someone has to say, even if you completely disagree with them. In these worlds, we got to get the light of the gospel to people quicker, and we have to make it more accessible. And rather than trying to be right, I believe Christianity is about being authentic and showing people the love of Jesus, even when we might consider them an enemy in their views.